All right, it's time. What's up, guys, and welcome to Earth Royale. For and it's now on Steam, meaning that well. We've got everything going for us. So, for today, I kind of want to just... You know... Do it all, honestly. I, I just... I want to have ev everything. Everything is on. So, we're going to try and get started with... Just the biggest game I possibly can get in this mode. Only 675. Maybe that's because of the Easter eggs. I don't know. But for right now, we'll turn the auto camera on. Our top 10. The Nunavu, the Nunavu natives. The Kalmar Union. The Ottoman Empire. The Umayyad Caliphate. Stanistan. The Soviet Union. Majapahit. Is this Druistan over here? Yep. Siberia. The Qing Dynasty. And the Saharan Empire. So let's just get started. And already we have Stanistan going ham. Cordoba has been divided. Uh, Iberia has been flooded. Uh, I have French colonies things. We got Munich. We got cities in the game for the first time. West Virginia taken. Oh, a lot of more, a lot more mountain roads for itself. So I think the the biggest game that you could do is with. Oh, that's all big expansion from Ohio. Anyway, the biggest game you could probably do is with just all states independent, all provinces. Because with Easter eggs on, this becomes a lot bigger. Or smaller, I guess. England and Scotland united, so now we just have the UK, I guess. And now they're split up. Okay, wait. I, I have to check. Does, does it... Okay, cool. It actually does say they split back up into England and Scotland rather than South England, Scotland and North England, Scotland. That's a nice new... Anyway. Manitoba is gone. We got some people joining the Saharan Empire. So it grows its borders to the ocean. Oh, a lot of places are joining Indonesia. Not much change in our top 10. Actually, I don't think there's any change in our top 10, but we're already down 30 countries. So it'll be interesting to see what cities get included here. The U.S. Virgin Islands aren't very virgin anymore. Arabia, well, the rest of Arabia is good now gone. South Sudan. Eastern European Caucasia, hmm. Well, we got unions more. Some of these provinces are just weird. Nevada. Expanding. I think Druistan is... Yeah, nope. Druistan is in. And now they've taken over the rest of California. Also, we're a day off today because it released at 3.30 yesterday and I had to go to work at 3.45. Qing Dynasty expanding. The Nunavu expanding as well. Oh, Inca. Inca. That must suck there. 
Egypt, I guess. The 13 colonies expanding into the Deep South. Indonesia colonizing the Caribbean. You know, makes sense. Dude, these maps honestly look disgusting with so many things added in. More places joining the Umayyad. Siberia expanding. I, uh, mm, well, Rhodesian Bush War? Uh, ooh, that was a pretty nice expansion from the Ivory Coast. Venezuelan provinces, or are those Colombian provinces? Sierra Leone has been killed now. Napoleon's death, right? He was sent to St. Helena, right? That's another pretty nice expansion. Saskatchewan has been killed. Oh, it will be interesting to see which provinces actually managed to unite their territories. The Emu Empire. That's a, how you flood a desert. That's a that's a lot of flooding. Revolted to join another place is, I think, something new in this version. The Confederacy expanding. The Ottomans are now colonizing Indonesia somehow. Oh, yeah, right. We, we gotta go to top ten. Um, the Saharan Empire lost its place as number one. Other than that, nothing else has changed. And Ireland is kill. What ha ha is that? Is that Iceland? The Isle of Man, that's Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. You know what? Sure, I guess. The Nigerian Plateau. Budapest, Martin, Morn. Island nations being killed. Maine has joined the 13 colonies. The Soviet Union's expanding into the Baltics and Finland. You know, they like doing that. Hong Kong is dead, so I don't know. Like, China's feeling nice and happy. And it will also be interesting to see if um, the underdog stops winning here. Because for pretty much the entire time I've been doing Earth Real, the underdog in the last three countries wins every time. I don't know how. Also, there's a Discord server, which I can leave a link to in the description below, because... It's pretty nice, you can interact with me, you can interact with the creator. And he's on, on fire. Uh, and there's no more mountain mama. There's no more mountain roads. Country roads. Uh, taking you home. No. Oh. And, oh, that's a lot of expanding from the Qing Dynasty. And now they're on fire. Kaido from Japan. Doing some nice expansion. Are those not, those have to be like Nigerian provinces? Are those Brazilian? Maybe White Nile. That's an interesting name. Car, something you know, normal. Kalmar Union, the Nordic Union, going ahead and expanding. Ontario is now gone. Casablanca, well, how, why did you join the Umaya Caliphate over there? I don't know where any of these things are without 
the auto camera. Mozambique. Uh, some more things from Brazil. Was that a three province union just automatically? Oh, yeah, sec, they got shrunk and now they're being flooded. And the HRE it has expanded a lot. And, well, the No Data Empire is gone. It's 2153. How are we looking? We're almost 200 countries down with the HRE now in the top 10. The Kalmar Union, Ottoman Empire, Saini San, Umayyad, Saharan Empire, Siberia, Majapahit, Soviet Union, and Qing Dynasty still remain in the top 10. Some places joining the Caliphate. Some Mozambican Union things. Comoros. Where? Oklahoma has now joined the Confederacy. And there goes Poland. Falling prick victim to the Soviet Union once again. S some nice Indian unions. Arizona expanding. So something that I was told that you could do is like have the old world colonize the new world. And uh, that'll probably be next video. Ah, Canada's starting to pick up the slack now. Like, I need to figure out, well, how to do it. Chicago's gone. And there goes one of our top nations. How did... Excuse me. How did... It... It's communist and democratic. Okay. Well, that's certainly more different than the uh, frickin' north, south, or east, west. And Czechoslovakia is gone. The HRE continues to grow. Sri Lanka has been killed. The Emu Empire is now gone, and that is absolutely disgusting. The Umayyad Caliphate, you know, taking some nice territory everywhere. San Juan. Mexico is back in the game because they were absolutely murdered, and now Prussia has been killed. Gabon is dead. Well, there's something to be said about that. Kiev being annexed by the Soviet Union. Mexico rightful area revolted to join the asset, and the Qing Dynasty is going nuts. And they got nuked. You might call it. Oh my lord, that's a nice and big expansion. So. The Canadian Union, the Kalmar Union, the Holy Roman Empire, Saint San. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Shinyaga. So we got a nice little East African Empire forming. The Iberian Union expanding. I don't think I can say that name. <laughs> it's a city, but like I still don't think I can say that name. Republic. That's disgusting. Liberia has been killed. Penguin Empire has taken over Cape Town. Where did they establish a colony? <laughs> Some cities in Australia are now fighting each other. Suriname has been killed. And Japan has been gotten back into the game. And Rome's dead. The East African Empire is actually doing pretty nice. The Kalmar Union keeping it going, taking, taking the Baltics from the Soviet Union. Africa is... Quite interesting right now. 
with so many like male powers and then just Sahara in the north. Arizona has been killed, so that was one from that was a decent power from the US gone. Hungary is gone. So that's our first four country union. More stuff going down in the states. British Columbia colonizing the South Pole. Essentially, add Antarctica to the game. Why not? That's scary. That's just Middle East Union. We got some more natives downed. Qing Dynasty is in Hokkaido. The Poland's rightful area has revolted from the HRE and has joined Poland. That's pretty cool. Montreal has been divided. Whatever that was got to got colonized. Sheesh, man, this is taking a toll on my poor old storage. So Berlin's now gone. Fiji is colonizing places, so more water empire, I guess. So, more places are being colonized, and why is Indonesia considered Southeast Asia? I don't get it. Why can't we consider that Oceania? Angola is growing bigger with some revolts. Yeah, there's like four powers in Africa, like minor ones, or... Like, there are a lot of powers in Africa that could take over Africa. I, I Honestly, I'm invested in Africa's story right now because there isn't, like, anything happening in South America and North America and has, like, three, maybe. Kansas is trying to establish itself as a minor one. And the Umayyad Caliphate is gone. So l l let's discuss here real quick. So in North America, Nevada, Idaho, Kansas could be considered minor ones. British Columbia as well. Then you have the Nunavut, 13 colonies, and Oklahoma Confederacy that I would consider the major powers of North America. What, this Ecuador thing, I guess, would be the most major one of... South America. Then you have the Kalmar Union, the HRE, and the Iberian Union. Oh, and the Ottoman Empire as the four major powers of Europe. Not much else. Uh, Soviet Union's weird. It's like in the middle. That place I can't say the name of because I'll uh, get banned. Anyway, the Qing Dynasty in Siberia as the major powers of Asia with the Mauryan Empire, India as the secondary one. Australia, Oceania is a mess, and then you have just everything here in Africa. That's like one, two, three, four, four pretty big powers, and then uh, Sahara. Guatemala has decided to split itself. Ho Chi Minh, that's another city down. Could do like a city-only game mode. Kalmar Union taking it to the Soviet Union once again. Oh, it's past 20, 2250. I forgot. Uh, Egypt, the Iberian Union, Holy Roman Empire, Soviet Union. I can't say that name. Siberia, Ottoman Empire, the Nordic Union, Saharan Union, Empire, and Qing Dynasty are our top ten. I only Madagascar things happening.
All right, the Iberian Union is expanding into the Saharan Empire and, like, towards the HRE, its main competitor. Also, how much are we down to? We're almost halfway through the game. We've only been here for, like, 17 minutes, so it's pretty good for going pretty fast. And now Oklahoma Confederacy has split up. And what did it split up into? What is that? Oh, it just split up into unclaimed land. Sure, why not? I think unclaimed... Oh, that was a massive... Uh, just expansion from the Sahara. Anyway, I think unclaimed land should just be like blindingly white. <laughs> I don't know. When you get to a mode like this, there are so many colors on the screen that it's really hard to tell who's who. Like, I thought that all that area was claimed by someone. That place is expanding. I can't say that name. Penguin Empire, the South Af um, the Antarctica Empire thing, still going strong. Panama colonizing Singapore as well. We still don't have like a like we haven't had many big things happening. And the US Samoa is dead to bring us to twenty three hundred. We are almost about three hundred countries down. This is our top ten. The Songhai Empire managed to get up there now. The HRE, the Soviet Union, Iberian Union, can't say that name, Ottoman Empire, Kalmar Union, Siberia, Saharan Empire, and Qing Dynasty. That union split up. What is what? <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. Magdalena, Kaduna, Bachi. So yeah, I can pronounce Southern New Guinea. Seychelles has been divided. Laos is gone. Oromia, Mauritius. Via Brazilian Am Amazonas. That was a big province. Those were some big old provinces. St. Lucia had been divided. Um. Yeah, why did that take so long? The Northwest Territories have been divided. The Soviet Union is trying to keep itself up there by expanding. Mindanao and Prince Edward Island things happening. Alberta has been divided. Southern Zambia. The Soviet Union is expanding once again. Monterey. And now the thing is being flooded. Somalia is colonizing England. That's interesting. Subcarpathia. That is... That was a pretty nice big nuke. I mean, I know Europe's a lot smaller, but still, geez. Accra to Sicily shrinking. That might have just knocked, like, that definitely knocked the HRE out of the top 10. Manila. So, pretty much all, it seems all the cap, most of the capitals of countries are in the game. That's probably London in the green. Greater London area. Hokkaido colonizing places. Sonora, the desert being annexed. Who would want a desert? South Africa is gone, the rest of it. Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. And now that place has taken over Qing Dynasty. 
and now uh, Vietnam. So, obviously, they're the power to beat. Kansas has now taken over Montana, pretty much establishing itself as the secondary power of the of North America. That okay. Uh, the uh, what? Join the Ottoman Empire, Northern Ireland, reverse colonizing the UK. It's pretty nice. I like it. Two Sicilies has been divided. Honduras split up. Mexico has been killed. Cambodia. Alright, it's 2351, and we are officially over halfway through. The HRE continues to remain in the top 10, surprisingly. Now I, I just want to find where this place is. Okay, there. The HRE, the Nunavut, this place here... Iberian Union, Soviet Union, Kalmar Union, Siberia, then the Ottoman and Saharan Empires, and then the place I cannot say. The CSA can rightful area in... <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay. Got more Brazilian unions. Will Brazil form, technically? The HRE is on fire. Antonin Arvo... Belize is expanding into neighbors. Fiji established a colony in Cote d'Ivoire. Salamet has been divided. And Singapore got divided. UK Virgin Islands have been divided. And Siberia is trying to put down the, the place I can't say. And now Siberia lost its holding in North America. Havana, Cuba has been killed. Belgrade has joined the HRE. Yukon has been divided. Northern Thailand shrinking. And now the HRE is expanding once again. They're f the Iberians and HRE are fighting really hard over France. And you'd think the HRE would win as they have like three times the population. And oh, the Ottomans. What what do the wait? What do the Ottomans even have anymore? <laughs> Hold on. And now Canada's dead. Eastern Cape has been divided. South Isan got annexed by Central Thailand. Uh, Colombian Union? Yep. The Red River Delta. That's a pretty cool name, not gonna lie. A lot of places did not join Siberia, which Siberia definitely needed. Los Angeles has taken out San Diego. Los Angeles and Nevada have now united. Republic of Bolivia has now split up into what? Madagascar Union thing. North Republic of Bolivia. Oh, it's north and south. That's east and west. <laughs> Thailand has gained independence from central Thailand. Brazil uh, being annexed. Some more things happening in South America. Indonesia has gained its independence from the Ottoman Empire. Zambesia and Malawi have united. And now New Mexico has been killed to bring us into the 25th century. With this as our top 10. We have 287 lefts. 
So I might pause and see you guys soon. Yeah. The Penguin Empire just went down. Grandma? <laughs> I didn't know Grandma was a province. Ethiopia and Somalia. And now that place is gone. And, well, that's that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting in Asia. The Songhai Empire got divided. That's a pretty big one. With, 20, with the year 2457, this is our top 10. And Africa's playing out to be a really fun game. I didn't even notice that the HRE was d completely taken by the Kalmar Union. That's So the Kalmar Union is pretty much in control of Europe. They only have the... I mean, they could easily be squashed on either side. We're almost a third of the... We almost have a third of the countries left. Kalmar Union expanding once again, and we will see you at the next big event. The Mauryan Empire is gone, so Asia is now even more free. A first hurricane we've seen, and geez, it kind of screwed up a lot of things. It's now all unclaimed land. And the Iberian Union has split up, which eases the tension for the... Uh, Kalmar Union, yes. Now they only have to worry about the Soviet Union. Now the Sahara has taken Egypt. We have a union with Zuni in Siberia, which makes it a lot easier to tell how big Siberia is right now. The Nunavu has been killed. And we are now in the, in the 26th century. Quebec has taken the top, t the number 10 spot. With the others being West Persia, Cote d'Ivoire, Kasai Oriental, United Arab Republics, People's Republic of Iberian Union, the Soviet Union, the Saharan Empire, Siberia, and the Kalmar Union. It's a pretty close game between those two, and we are less than a third of the way left. Less than a third of the countries are left. The Confederacy has been killed. That's a pretty big nuke. That was all New York? Hold on. New York took over the 13 colonies. And the Kalmar Union has split up. Into... What What? What has it split up into? West and East. I don't know about you, but having East surrounded by West doesn't seem right. And having... Okay. Hold on. Uh, some doesn't seem right here. Madagascar is fully formed. And now the West Kalmar Union is dead. So no more issues there. Soviet Union on fire. We're about to reach 2550. With 176 countries left in the game. St. Martin, West Persia... Cote d'Ivoire, Kasai Oriental, People's Republic of Iberian Union, East Kalmar Union, Saharan Empire, Soviet Union, Zuni, Siberia, and the United Arab Republics. Oklahoma and Kansas United creating a whole new power in North America. So, Europe is looking to be the first continent to, uni to fully union. We've only got a few powers left in Europe, and only like three that actually are good. Ah, yes, my favorite. The A uh, Asian Australian Ottoman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we're now in the 27th century. This is our top 10. We are like a fifth, a fourth now left. And now the East Kalmar Union split up into the Federation of East Kalmar Union and just East Kalmar Union. And now the USA is actually kind of back in the game by taking over Oklahoma, Kansas. All right, so now with 2650, the map's really starting to come together here with our top 10. Pitcairn Islands, Incan Empire, Cote d'Ivoire, Kasai Oriental, People's Republic of Iberian Union, who has not changed at all, ever. Canada, Federation of East Kalmar Union, the Soviet Union, Bene, Saharan Empire, uh, Zuni Siberia, and United Arab Republics. 
and now America has taken over Idaho, so they're really looking good now. America, I swear, is America really just going to come from not existing and win this game? We are officially under 100 countries left. St. Martin, Togo, Kasai Oriental, United States of America, Indiana. Which, that one's surprising. Soviet Union, Canada as well. Federation of East Kalmar Union, United Arab Republics, Bene Saharan Empire, and Zuni Siberia. And now the Soviet Union has split up. And the United Arab Republics has been killed. And so has Canada. England has been killed. Europe's done the three powers, or four, I guess. But there's only there's really only three. Oh my God, that's that's something. The America and essentially Africa have just united. Oh wait, and with that, that actually means there's only like two pe uh, European powers left. And that's all of Europe united. Jeez. <laughs> and now they're dead. <laughs> so that means Europe's completely out of the game. There's no more European powers left. And there goes one of the African ones. Being claimed by Madagascar. Madagascar might have a good game. And there goes Siberia. That was divided almost perfectly six ways. I... That's kind of shocking. The American thing just took two nukes to the face. Just gotta say. And there goes this place. You know what? Sure. I see nothing wrong with that. I see nothing wrong with those borders. And there's nuke number three. There's number four. <laughs> now they got China in that union, and this is our top ten. Um, there's a lot to unpack here. I can't even give out continental winners. Well, Europe's just completely gone. North America's all in one. Asia's practically all in one. And half of Africa is in one. They're still going. They need to stop. They're going to. It's all going to come crashing down. There's a flood now. That was the most pathetic flood I think I've ever seen in my life. South America is starting to get things together now. They are expanding again. We don't have many left. We're down to 19 countries left. Cuba's been flooded since Central America. So Equatorial Guinea has now joined our big boy. I'll leave our top 10 up for now. Well, that certainly helps, but it won't help a lot. They're expanding on all fronts. That's another one down. We're out down to 16. They lost like two provinces there. There's nuke number five. <laughs> there goes another one. We're down to 14. And then there were 13. And then 12. And then 11. So now they're in control of all of North America and all of Europe. Now we're down to the final 10. So let's give a congratulations to all 10 of these countries. And now let's see them kill each other. The big boy's still going. Now India has joined that place, so they're still going. And they're still going! <laughs> 
And there it goes. Oh, this is disgusting. I can't tell what is what. But there were four left. Oh, that's ugly. That's, that's ugly. There are now five left. And now back to four. There we go. That's better. Now there were three. And now there were two. And there we go. Why? Why? Why is it always the underdog? Why? I don't get it. Anyway, in the year 2860, Cuba has taken over the world. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. And of course, have a good day.